is a null set. It's a set like this with no elements inside it. Like the set of sensory organs of your book, your book is a non-living thing and does not have ears or eyes, which means it's an empty set or a null set. They both mean the same. And if you're asked about the set of sensory organs of a human being, we would have included ears, eyes, nose, etc. Anyway, the null set is represented using this symbol. A circle and a line which cuts across. Consider the set A with the first three natural numbers inside it. Now think about it. Is the null set a subset of the set A? Yes, the null set is a subset of every set. But why do we say this? There is actually a funny way to understand this. You can look at it this way. What does the null set contain? Nothing. What does set A contain? It contains 1, 2, 3 and nothing. This means that nothing is a part of set A too. And that's why we say that the null set is a subset of set A. Because every set has nothing apart from the other elements, the null set is a subset of every set. And yes, the null set is also a subset of the null set since both sets have nothing. And this is also obvious as we know that every set is a subset of itself. <laughs> <laughs>